guys welcome to this tutorial uh, and this video is about graphs and its representation using adjacency lists uh, let's quickly have a look what a graph basically is so a graph is basically a collection of nodes and edges between those nodes so 0 connects to 1 1 connects to 2 and 3 and 4 0 connects to 4 4 connects to 0 1 and 3 graphs could be of two types one is the undirected graph and one is the directed graph that undirected graphs basically mean if one to two is a neighbor then two to one is also a neighbor directed graphs on the other hand if one to two is a neighbor two to one is not a neighbor so if two to one had had been a neighbor then there would have been an arrow pointing from two to one now that we know what a graph basically is we can get to coding this in eclipse we quickly go over here and cre create a new Java project. Let's call this graph. Wait for it to build paths. Right click here, source, create a new class, and we call this graph. Graph adjacency list. Pretty cool name big one though okay uh, first let's import java.util util dot stop then we create a private instance of a map array list array list an integer so this array list it should be array list is provided to us by java.util array list and let's call this adjacency list map all right now we create the constructor for this class it's called public graph adjacency list and it will take an input as vertices so we give an input as the number of vertices then we create an empty graph with those vertices then adjacency lists map is basically a new hash map which will take input as an integer and an array list of type integer so this should be capital I okay then we say for the number of vertices that the user inputs we create an empty graph with it so int i equals 1 i less than equal to the number of vertices I plus plus we create an array list of integers integer and let's call this as neighbors this will be a new array list of integer adjacency list map is now we just put for ith element we put in the neighbors so what we just did was for suppose say node 0 we created an array list which will which we are calling as neighbors so for 0 there's a list for 1 there's a list for 2 and so on for the number of vertices that the user input we have created an empty list of neighbors now we basically need a function to add an edge so let's call this public void add edge and this will take as input the vertice and the neighbor that we want to add the neighboring vertice that we want to add first we check if the vertex that we input that the user input is actually a part of the nodes that we initially defined so suppose 
our uh, graph is for node 0 1 and 2 but the user wants to access the node say 7 so that is not in the range in the scope and so we need to check that case and w belongs is greater than adjacency li lists map dot size then we simply return so this should be w greater than okay and if that is not the case then we use the inbuilt function adjacency lists map dot get we first get the word test v and then we basically add w as its neighbor uh, we should put brackets over here to make it clear we get the list uh, we get what is v and then we add w as its neighbor so this if we add only this line that means the graph we are talking about is an undirected graph is a directed graph sorry and if we add this line as well adjacency lists map dot get w and then dot add v so now the graph we're talking about becomes an undirected graph so what we basically mean over here is that we get v and add w as its neighbor and then we get w and add v as its neighbor okay now we need uh, to add neighbors as well so we create a new function which we call as let's call it get neighbors so this function basically returns us the list of neighbors to a particular node that we input okay so what seems to be the error okay so okay uh, let's say let's again check our base case which is if v is actually a part of our graph uh, in this case we simply return a null else we return an array list of integer this should be capital I of integer which will be adjacency lists map dot get v so this returns us the list of neighbors to the word as v all right now we write down the main code public static word main string arguments uh, uh, let's create an integer and count and let's initiate it to one and then we need the source vertex and we need a destination vertex then we can create a line uh, that simply says enter the number of vertices and edges then we use scanner to get the input and we call this system dot n then we create a new variable uh, let's call it number of vertices number of vertices and we take input from the user next int then we take input as the number of edges and we take input again from the user next end okay now what we need 
we create a new we need to enter semicolon over here then we take we create a new instance of the class graph adjacency list adjacency list and let's call this adjacency list new graph adjacency 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 list and the input will be the number of vertices that we just took input from the user seems fine till now uh, then we need the user to enter the edges so like 0 to 1 is an edge we need the user to tell us that so again we tell the user so this should be dot print print line Let's say enter edges in format source space edge source space destination all right now we create a loop and we say while count is less than equal to number of edges we just simply take input source is scan dot next end destination is scan dot next end and we add the edge adjacency list dot add edge between source and destination and we done and now we just increment count count plus plus okay now let's tell the user that the given adjacency list for the graph and then let's give a line after this and then we simply create an int a loop we say int i equals 1 i less than equal to the number of vertices i plus plus system dot out dot print print um, how do we print so there's the node followed by the neighbors so let's do it like this i and then we say plus followed by an arrow this should be in double brackets okay now let's say let's create an array list of type which is integer and let's call it edge list Adjacency list dot this should be adjacency list so we're talking about this adjacency list adjacency list dot get neighbors so we created get neighbors function over here now we're just using it to get the list of neighbors and the input to this will be our vertex i and now we simply need to print this and j equals 1 semicolon semicolon j plus plus we do this uh, okay now we say if j not equals edge list dot size
then we output dot out dot print edge list dot get j minus one plus again we give an error over here else let's do this system dot out dot print edge list edge list dot get j minus one and and then break so this this statement is just to check whether the node uh, whether the neighbor we are talking about it's the last neighbor or it's an in-between neighbor so if it's the last neighbor then we simply do this if it's not the last neighbor then we do this because we want to keep like putting arrows after each neighbor so let's just give a space over here like this okay seems pretty nice till now now just give a new line over here system dot out dot print line just to make it look a little, little better um, I think we done over here we can run this enter the number of vertices and edges so number of vertices is say four and edges are five five enter the edges in format source and destination so we say one has an edge with two one has an edge with three two has an edge with four with three and let's say one has an edge with four and one okay two has an edge with four pretty cool so one has neighbors two three and four two has neighbors one three and four three has neighbors one and two and four has neighbors one and two seems to be working fine